I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mytilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mytilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. If we know where Cleon is, I should just kill him. The problem here does not end with the death of one person. We have the whole of Athens to consider. So, other methods are in play. A student of mine poses as a guard at the Acropolis as we speak. It's an unusual method, but these are desperate times. Then they call for desperate measures. When we first met, you wouldn't admit to tampering with the ostracism. Now you openly discuss murdering a man. Not a man. Cleon. Think of him as you will, but his heart beats the same as yours or mine. We don't get to decide when death comes for ourselves, so why should we for others? Socrates, Cleon deserves to die. As do we all, eventually, but only the gods decide when. He decided when he sent that fleet to bring death to an entire island. So, you believe it's good to kill one man to save 1,000? Definitely. And what if Cleon believes killing a 1,000 will save a million? Is that a good act? What defines his actions as good? For that matter, what defines yours? I define myself, and I'm not Cleon. Nor is any Athenian I've ever known. But to convince them of that, we need proof. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Penix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Watch will be vigilant here. Goddess of war and wisdom.
para Messi. Have you found their trail? There's nothing here. Eyes and ears open. This one is cunning. They won't escape with their life. Any trace? Report. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. So to get the key, I need to find the Commander Phylos. This shovel looks recently used. like someone dug here.
Do you have my seals yet? Of course I do. It was easy. How could I have doubted your greatness? Nonetheless, I appreciate the work you've done. Would you be interested in another job? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. Exactly. How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I'm not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see how the other generals react to that. I'll get you your seals. The sooner the better. What do you think of the Spartans? If you were to ask General Ney on that, he'd tell you they were mindless brutes. That's half true. They have a base sort of cunning. It shouldn't be enough to withstand Athenian might. Assuming the other generals make intelligent decisions instead of stalling. You do know I'm of Spartan birth. You're more skilled than the average Spartan. In time, you might even manage Athenian citizenship. The true pinnacle of success. Of course. I wish I had more say over our naval forces. What I could do to the Spartans then. Have you held this command for long? I've been a general in the army for a long time. I made some mistakes in my early days, but I more than made up for them after. Still, everyone attributes my victories to luck, never to my own decisions. I see how that could be frustrating. Other men take credit for my victories. Cautious men who cause needless deaths by overlooking opportunities. You know what happens to a general who loses his reputation? Who gets blamed for the loss of Athenian lives? Nothing good. He dies. So I will do everything to preserve Athenian lives. Maybe one day, I'll even get credit for my accomplishments. Why do you need these seals? I need those seals to shove in the faces of the assembled generals, to get them to wake up. While they've been debating and stalling, I've been winning the war. I know what I have to do. Gratis was right. This is exactly what we needed.
Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person. Someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. 
its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall.